Dude RV. We are currently set up at Garner State Park. We've been here for a couple of days. Man, this is a beautiful park. You gotta come see it. But we're done here. We're about to get on the road. We're just, we're almost all loaded up and ready to roll. We're gonna drive north a couple hours up to the, the town of Junction, Texas. And we are going to spend a couple nights at South Llano River State Park. So come along with us as we explore South Leno River State Park. Here we are, South Llano River State Park. Or is it South Llano River? Llano, Llano, most of us, uh, they ain't told me at the gate that most people just say Llano. So we're gonna roll with that. South Llano River State Park. This is a pretty little park, man. Site number 35. Met the neighbors already. They follow, follow me on YouTube. That's four for four so far this trip. Site really slopes to the back. It is water and electric, asphalt pad, 30 amp service only. got to watch this tree so if you got a really long RV you might not be able to get as far back as I did but you can see how far how far off the ground we are I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any roof pan shots from this site I'm three inches off the ground there definitely some drop off so if you have leg and feet issues just be mindful of that wooden picnic table on a pat concrete slab and a barn type cover keep the rain and the sun off of you a double lantern hanger and a fire pit and best of all look at this front yard man all right i'm gonna go eat a bite of lunch jump on the scooter 
and we're gonna go see some stuff. All right, we're here at South Leno River State Park. I'm happy to say they've got some some scooter friendly trails. Not exactly sure where it goes, but I keep I, I saw this white object from my camp, so I thought I'd run down here and, and see what it is. Ah, it's a bird blind. That was a pretty cool bird blind. All right, we're gonna see if we journey down there a little bit farther. Can't go too far, I gotta go do a scooter run. Stay tuned, more to come. I'm up here at the front at the park headquarters. And it's it, this park headquarters is one of the more unique park headquarters that I have seen in the, the Texas parks system the texas state park system this is actually an old farmhouse old ranch i get or a ranch house it's it's an old residence and back here there's a water tower there was probably at one point a windmill that lifted water into that I think that's pretty neat we don't typically get to see them out during the day alive they're usually dead if they're out during the day ha! little armadillo Lano River State Park. I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro, but there's a exotic deer. Now this this is the main road going into the park. I'm headed out to the front gate, the sign, and I saw it looks like maybe an axis deer. I, I can't really tell from here. And there's a, several more out there too. Well, alrighty then. All right, I've made it down here to the river. And the scooter is a no-go. All the work that uh, was done, we did on it yesterday. <sighs> no good. Here we are on the South Llano River. Rabbi Jesus busted his butt yesterday. He worked on Little Red literally all day. He'd solve one problem and then another problem would arise. The, the main issue is the way this wiring harness comes out of there. The, the wires are broke because it binds up and then it binds up. And then when I fold the tiller over, it adds an additional le level of stress. And there's no point in calling this company because you know, the last conversation I had with them, they threatened me for violating my customer purchase agreement. Even though I was sold a lemon, a defective product. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on a rant about that. We're, we're here, we're at South Llano River State Park. How cool is this place? You, you, this is just so pretty. Man.
if you're driving down 10 and you're close to a junction, you need to see if you can get into this park. It's, it's, it's incredible. There's a handicap site down there that is probably the best handicap site I have seen in a Texas state park. Just saying. All right. I'm going to take off this camera harness and just hang out. More to come. Well, what can I tell you? South Llano River State Park. We've pretty much seen it all. Now, if you're a hiker or a biker, it's probably an excellent place to come. I, the, the guy up at the front said they have 20 miles of hike and bike trails. That's a lot of hike and bike trails. If Little Red was a little more reliable, I might venture down some of those trails. It, it's just not, not gonna happen on this visit. So we're gonna build a fire, start doing some supper prep. There's not a whole lot going on here at South Llano River State Park, other than it's just, it's a beautiful place to set up camp. I mean, just check this out. You can hear the highway though. Speaking of highway, we're not too far off of 10. So if you're journeying east or west, this would be a good, good waypoint, good place to stop and spend the night. Do some bird watching, stretch your leg. I have been trying to get this particular, this one particular shot since the beginning of the Colorado trip, since we were at Copper Breaks. And it's, it's the sun setting and the stars coming out in, in a time lapse, all on an automated adjusting mode in, in the GoPro. And I have that all saved, but every time I, I set it up, something goes amiss. I, I literally have been trying to get this same shot for four months now, five months. So I'm gonna try it again. This is a dark sky park. There's not a cloud in the sky, so I'm gonna climb up on the roof and well, I don't know, maybe I'll just do it from down on the ground. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. I'll figure it out. So that'll be the, this will be the last segment for uh, today at South Llano River State Park because I got to get the camera in position. <laughs>
frigid greetings. Here we are at South Leno River State Park. Sun is on the rise and we are as well. Since Little Red is having mechanical difficulties, we can't access the internet without going all the way up to the park headquarters Wi-Fi, which is really slow. So we have Verizon, up at Verizon Hotspot and Verizon cell phones. We're on roam with phones. Can't pick up anything with the hotspot because our roam is 3G. So we've decided we're gonna roll out a little bit earlier than anticipated. We had to uh, book two nights for here. I think I see some turkeys over there. So we are going to move north and see what we can find as we journey towards Abilene State Park. We're not supposed to hit Abilene State Park for a couple night, couple days though. Well, we are in Ballinger, Texas. Since we left South Lano River State Park, we've been heading north. We're moving towards Abilene State Park, but we were looking for some place to camp between South Lano River and Abilene. We found that the town of Ballinger actually has RV parking for three days, the city of, ba of Ballinger, and that is in the city park. So here's the city park of Ballinger. I found something out. So 30 and 50, 30, 50, and 20. on both sides. Now I don't know if it's live and there's water. Here. But is it on? Sure enough, it's on. So if you I, I don't know what the fee is. Yappy was look she knew she found that information on uh apparently online somewhere. But there's no instructions on where or how to pay. We certainly are not sure, and it's not real clear as to, is, is that where you park your RV? But coming in like that, I guess. Of course, I'd, I'd hit that tree with mine. I guess you could pull just straight in here and ruin your view of the the lake. I don't know. But just but now you know. Ballinger, Texas. Let's go to Abilene State Park. One more little item uh, about the Ballinger City Park and the camping. So there's two ways in the park. One is if you follow Google Maps, it's gonna you're gonna go through a tail dragging intersection off of Main Street. Uh, there's a secondary entrance to the park, and it's by this bridge. If you look at it on Google Earth, you can see that there's a this bridge. So there's a dump station, a free dump at this entrance to the park. There are signs from in the park by the swimming pool telling you to come this way. And then there's a sign over here that's kind of hidden a little bit. It's actually usable from both sides. And it doesn't look like it's been used much. Anyway, now you know. If you've enjoyed our visit to South Lano River State Park, give me one of those thumbs up and blast that out across your social media. Tell the world about Dude RV. If this is the first time you've been to Dude RV, hey, I would really appreciate it if you'd click on that subscribe button down there because, man, it just this that drives me that fuels my passion to do what I do for those of you who have been along for the ride for a while now man I am so deeply honored thank you that's why I do what I do all right with that being said y'all come back now you hear